It's a sign of China's progress in getting around some of these U.S. restrictions on the kind of technology it has access to. I think they're trying to show that they feel like they can make progress in technology, and semiconductors in particular, even without the support of the United States or even with these U.S. sanctions, which are very, very severe. Uh, so Huawei quietly dropped this phone last week into the market, and it caused quite a stir. Uh, it's an advanced phone. It's called the Mate uh, 60. Uh, but there were a lot of questions about exactly what kind of technology was inside the phone. So what we did is we bought one of the phones and then we worked with this firm, Tech Insights, which does uh, breakdowns, teardowns of products uh, professionally. And they looked at the components inside uh, the, the phone. They were able to make the phone at what, what's, what's called seven nanometer technology, which is quite advanced. Um, and in that case, they were, they were able to produce a processor that was much more advanced than people had anticipated SMIC was actually capable of doing. So it's a sign of China's progress in getting around some of these U.S. restrictions on the kind of technology it has access to, particularly for a company like Huawei, which is blacklisted by the U.S. government. They're trying to show that they feel like they can make progress in technology, and semiconductors in particular, even without the support of the United States or even with these U.S. sanctions, which are very, very severe. 快来订阅通识，按旁边小铃铛给我们点赞和分享哦。如果有什么想说的，也欢迎在下面多多留言。